lighting designers at the time and to this day, and this has really started with Bill Clagis, I believe, way back in the 60s. Um, what Bill was experiencing was that they would, they would have, they had so few studios in New York to do all these different productions on that um, they would come in in like at 12 o'clock in the morning and they would take down all the lights from Perry Como's series or whatever and they'd have to put up the lights for another show that was going to broadcast that night. And Bill's observation was is that the guys were always behind in turning these shows around. So he started doing these blueprints of, um, of where the lights should hang and how they should be Connect, which dimmer they should be connected to. And that way he could, was ahead and able to. So by the time the, um, I got involved, it was mandatory that, um, because it saves so much in labor, that a, a, you design a, um, a lighting design on paper. And um, I didn't know how to draft, so it's something I had to, to pick up. I had not, not had any, um, I'd had a little bit of drafting in, in junior high school, but nothing that would prepare me for that. Um, but it, it, you know, was something I, I was well suited to. I picked that up right away and, and yes, you had to, you had to do a, a lighting, a lighting design was an actual um, series of documents that, um, including the hookup of how the instrumentation would be hooked up.